Hey guys, welcome back to Big Farmer. Now, let's put the game on pause for a second because we just had an event. What's this? Oh, one of our competitors, the evil Excalibur Pharmaceuticals, has released a new product, Excalibur Wart Stomper. This new product is in direct competition with our product, Skywarty Growth Relief. Let's go to the company screen and take a look. Right, so here's our Warty Growth Relief. Here's our A-rated drug, which is making us $98 profit, which is nice. And Excalibur Pharmaceuticals have just released their Wart Stomper. Now, this is gonna compete with, uh, with our product, but as long as uh, saturation isn't a problem, um, then we should be okay. I don't think it's gonna affect us at all. So we'll kind of ignore that. But while we're here, we're gonna talk about um, probably the biggest tip that I can give you in the game, and that is to focus on your objective. Now, the objective in this mission is to earn a total revenue of a uh, million dollars, okay? Now, that's revenue, that's gross revenue. So all we're interested in is how many pills we're selling and how much we're selling them for. Profit, we don't actually really care about only in terms of, the, of having enough money to carry on like setting up new production lines and, and buying new factory space. In terms, of, uh, in terms of completing the mission, all we're interested in is getting our total revenue up as high as possible. Now in the last 12 months, we're at um, 78,000. Okay, so you know, like for round numbers, call it 100,000. That means it would take us um, 10 years to, uh, to, 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 to get to our, our target. We've already done uh, 78,000. So basically, we've we've been running for like one year and we've done 78,000. Excellent, great. Uh, we need to step that up because we want to complete this within uh, the next four years to get the rank of master. Oh yeah, right. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, the answer is to sell drugs that sell for more money. Well, how do we do that? Let's go to cures. Okay, so here are the three uh, the three drugs that we can make at level one, and you can see they all sell for around about a hundred. But if we could upgrade them to level two, then these are selling for like two thirty six, two fifty two, two seventy six even. Right now, that's like you know almost three times the the revenue. Now they may not necessarily be more profitable, and this is something that you have to be very careful with, because. To, in order to make a level 2 drug, you're probably going to have to do a lot more processing than you do with a level 1 drug. So even though we're selling it for more, it may cost us a lot more to make. But you know what? Let's give it a try and we'll see. So we're going to pick the one that's going to give us the best revenue. So we'll start with this antibiotic. What do we need in order to make this antibiotic? Well, to go from a level 1 to a level 2 drug, you're going to have two requirements. First of all, there's a change in the concentration. So we have to have a certain concentration. This is four to eight. And then once we've got that concentration, we have to run it through an agglomerator. Okay, so let's go and see what our current concentration is. So if we go to ingredients, that's the one that so uh, soothes cold symptoms. So it's this one, the wilted zilica gel, uh, gem. And that's got a concentration of one. So we've got to increase that to four and then run it through an agglomerator. Well, to get it from one to four, we can do that in one go by running it through an agglomerator. Now, let's go to production for a second because this is worth mentioning. Now, there are, there are two ways that we could get that, um, that concentration up. We could either run it through an agglomerator, now that's gonna cost us a process cost of 35, or we could run it through three evaporators, which would only cost us 30. So we'd actually be making five more profit. But of course, we're taking up more floor space. Now, if I was doing this and we were on a, on a mission that was all about profits, then I'd go for the evaporators. But because we're not worried about the profits, we're only worried about the revenue, I'm just gonna run it through some agglomerators. So, let's, um, let's bring the drug in over here. Sorry, the, um, the ingredient. So let's import the uh, wilted zilica gem, and then, which that didn't do. Oh, probably because I've got it on course. I'm guessing. Right, uh, let's put my machines in then and we'll hook them up. So I want to run it through two agglomerators. So we're gonna, we can run it through an agglomerator like uh, that. And then we can run it through an agglomerator like that. That actually works pretty well, doesn't it? So we can hook that up with a belt, hook that up with a belt. All right. Now let's run that on and see what that produces. So, oh, here's our uh, wilted zilica gem. 
it goes into the first machine and look you can see it's going up from one to four right that's the range that we want and then in this machine if we click on this one we can see that it goes from four to seven and it changes to an antibiotic ha 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 which is perfect but the active range for the antibiotic is different right this is 12 to 18 so we've now got to increase the strength from 7 to 12 wow so that's another 5 so we'd want to run it through uh, an agglomerator and um, two um, I forgot what they're called now <laughs> and two evaporators or we could just run it through two agglomerators but see that is going to affect our, our, our profits because um, two agglomerators are 35 each so it's an extra agglomerator at 35 as opposed to two evaporators at um, 10 each so we'd save $15 a pill that's worth doing so we'll run it through an agglomerator so we'll put an agglomerator I guess uh, there I have to change that belt and then we'll run it through uh, two evaporators so we're going to want an evaporator let's see we run one there and then one Ooh, how are we going to do this I guess maybe there okay right so let's do it let's hook these up so get rid of that link that up link that up link that up and then we're going to bring this around here right so let's run that on and see what we're producing so this gets it up to 11 and this one should take it from 11 to 12 now you'll notice that it's activating two side effects now that's not going to be so good okay let's pause this for a second because we've just got an event we have researched oh we've unlocked the creamer now that's perfect timing we've got side effects if we use a creamer it'll reduce the effects of those side effects so we can get rid of that just right click to get rid of that so we go to makers and here's our creamer and it reduces oh let's see what it says it uh, it reduces the the strength of negative effects by 50 percent well that's really good news for us so let's spin this around and uh, we can put it like over there and then we take a belt we feed that in there and then bring it out here and take it down to here but you know what I'm actually gonna I don't like the pathing on this sometimes because like actually for this it doesn't matter because we're not going to be putting else, anything else into this building but it would be much better to bring it in here next to these other ones right so we'll put it there okay so let's run this on so this is producing you know what we'll run it on at double speed come on produce those now remember we put in two pill processors for each of these other production lines but with the um, with the creamer if I click on it you can see that this has a process time of one so we only need one creamer as opposed to two pill processors right we've got a new product oh sky <laughs> biotica zapper yeah we'll take that I like biotica zappers right so these are going to be produced let's go to our company tab because what we're, what are we interested in revenue so here we can see our, uh, our tablets going up we're interested in our monthly revenue and you can see that our monthly revenue is going up for each one of these that we sell now this is going to go up to 30 and we're, we're halfway there so we're going to be up to probably uh, something like hundred and forty five thousand right well that's doubled our, uh, our revenue compared to when we were just producing these tabs so uh, tabs short for tablets pills same thing right so you can see that this this has got a value of 291 right so it's it's like three times the value of this thing profit profit is only this virtually the same as, as this but again the, 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 the value and that's what we're interested in is twice the value right that pushes our revenue up and that's what we need in order to win this mission right we need to continue doing that so let's do it some more let's pause the game for a second and we'll go to um, let's see we'll go to no we'll go to viewers and we'll see what, what's the next most valuable so we, we're already doing the antibiotic now we could if we wanted to go to an anti-malarial okay the problem is going from a, a state uh, um, 
a level 2 drug to a level 3 drug, you now have three requirements. First of all, we'd need a cryogenic condenser, which we haven't researched yet, and we'd have to research that. And that would probably take us about six months to research. Uh, then we've got the concentration, and then you've also got a catalyst. Now, adding a catalyst has to be done in a machine called a mixer. And we haven't researched that, so we'd have to research that as well. So that's like probably nine months to, to do all that research. Well, to be honest, for this mission, we're going to have this mission done in probably two years. So it's not worth doing this, even though the value of the drug is awesome. And if we were going for profitability, that might be the way to go. But if, as we're going for a straight revenue and it's short term, we're just going to produce some more drugs at this, um, at this level two level. So you know what? Let's produce a female contraceptive. What do we need to do in order to get this? Well, we've got a concentration of 13 to 15 and run it through an ionizer. Okay, so where's our ingredients? The one that removes warts, which is, um, oh, the foaming wood snake juice. Right, so what did I say? It needs to be 13 to 15. So we only need to reduce the concentration by two so we can run it through a couple of dissolvers, and then we need to run it through an ionizer. Right, well, let's go and do it. So, let's go to production. So, we need more factory space. So where are we gonna be fight, uh, get more factory space? Well, this is something that in the future it's gonna be more important to look at these and see exactly what you get. If we buy this one over here, and they, they cost the same, with this one we get one, uh, sorry, we get two import and export ports. But with this one, we get three. Now, if we were going to do a, a drug that needed uh, two ingredients that needed to be mixed together, we'd definitely go for this one because we can bring in the two ingredients, mix them, and then push them out through one export port. Over here, we've only got two, so we couldn't do it. right? But because we're not mixing, it doesn't matter. So we're just going to take this one over here. Cool. Right. So let's put, oh, well, actually this one gives us three as well. I didn't see those ports on the inside. Oh, that's handy. Okay, right, so um, what were we doing? We were doing the, uh, the I can't remember which ingredient it was now. <laughs> we're doing the foaming wood snake juice. Let's import that. Okay, so um, where are we gonna run it through? We've gotta reduce it by two. Okay, so let's get our machines up and running. So we're gonna take, um, gotta run it through a couple of dissolvers. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to bring it in here and uh, bring it through a couple up against this wall. That's going to be kind of good for space. So we bring it in from here into this machine and then into this one. Right, so that should get our concentration right. So let's um, click on this board and import the foaming wood snake juice. 17 get it down to 15 and then we need an ionizer so import that there we go right so let's get an ionizer going here we go here's our ionizer uh, which way we, we were going to need that Ooh, probably like that I'm thinking so let's put a belt there let's bring it out here and see what we get so let's run that on and we'll run it on at double speed and we can look at these machines as we're going along so this is decreasing it from 17 to 16 and then this one is bringing it from 16 down to 15 and then this one is bringing it down to 12 and activating, the, uh, upgrading it to a female contraceptive. Wonderful stuff. But the female contraceptive has an active range of 2 to 6 so that means we've got to bring it down from 12 to 6. Well that's going to be two ionizers. Oh and we've got an event. Low pollen levels. So you get these events that will affect drugs. This is um, this is going to affect antihistamines, but we're not making those, so we don't care. Okay, what did I say? We needed two ionizers. Wow. Right now, this is where, if you look at this, the profitability of this drug is not going to be that great. We're running it through these machines, then we've got to run it through three ionizers. Wow, that's like 35 uh, each processing cost. So that's like an extra hundred. So yeah, this is not going to be the world's most profitable drug. So we'll run it through that and that. That'll give us the result that we want. So we'll run it into there. And then we're going to run it through a creamer because um, this is going to have a side effect. So if we look at this um, this here, we're going we're gonna to be in this dry mouth and we want to reduce that. So we'll use a creamer. So let's take a creamer, which we'll put, ooh, now. Ah, 
we're going to have to put that there. This isn't very well laid out, but it is what it is. It's fine. Oh, 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 I need to buy this the factory space and nick an extra square. Okay, and then come around to there, and then it comes out straight to the output. Okay, so, are we producing the right thing? Yeah, we've got the female contraceptive active. And then it goes through the creamer. There we go. And we've got a new drug. And our new drug is, oh, Sky Pregbuster. <laughs> oh God, I, you know, I want to start a pharmaceutical custom company uh, just so that I can I can make a drug called Sky Preg Buster. <laughs> right, name that. Right, we're cranking those out. So let's go to our company tab and see what that's doing to our revenue. So our revenue, we're already up at um, what two twenty two thirty, and that's going to go up. Whoa, we're going to be up to around three, like close to three hundred thousand, I would think. By the time we've sold these, these are selling for 282. That's awesome source. Now, one thing that we could do again to increase our revenue, this is again not the profit but the revenue, would be to add value to uh, the drugs that we're already making. Right now, we're making pills, but if we were to make creams instead of pills, it would add ten dollars value to each. Now, when you think that we're making 60 a month, right, so that's 120, 120 uh, plus an extra $10, that's 1,200 a month. Hmm. Um, so that's like an extra 12,000 a year. Well, that's worth having. So let's go back to our production. Okay. And we'll go back to our original factory floor. And you can see, if I pause this for a second, We've got all of these pill printers that we could replace with um, with creamers. So what we're going to do, we're going to now uh, this is this is a good tip because like a lot of people kind of don't know this because this is not intuitive. What you can do instead of deleting these machines, you can actually move them to, to somewhere else and like store them and use them later if you want to. And all you do is double click on them. So if I double click on this, right, I can now like, I could like put that over there, just out of the way, and this one, double click on it, and just store them out of the way, right? Now in actual fact, for this mission, we're not going to use them again, because we're not going to be using pill prints, we're going to be using creamers, but um, that's a, a good way to store your, uh, your equipment and use it again. Or if you've put something in the wrong place and you just want to move it a little bit, then double click on it, move it to where you want it to move, be moved. Saves you a lot of money. Good tip, huh? Right, um, in actual fact, we don't want these, so we're actually just gonna get rid of them. So, goodbye to you, and goodbye to you. And we'll get rid of these two here, and we'll get rid of these two here. Now, this one, I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to slot a creamer in there, but we're gonna give it a damn good try. So, you know what? Let's give it a try. We'll see. If I fail, I fail. What I'm now going to do, I get money for all of these pills that are on these conveyor belts. So I'm going to let this carry on running until all of those pills go up. It's not going to work. It's not going to work because I haven't got any machines. Never mind. Never mind. So we'll, you know what? We'll pause it and we'll just get rid of them. That's a shame. That's a shame. Um, so we get rid of this and this and this and this as well. And what do I want? I want a creamer. So let's pop a creamer in here. So there we go. Well, that, that one works really well. That works better than the pill printers even. So I hook that up, hook that up. One production line done. This one, uh, this might be this might be easy as well. Let's um, get rid of this line across here. Oh and I do get credited for the um, for the pills actually kind of a surprise. Uh, oh no, that's the conveyor belts. You get half the price of the conveyor belts back. Yeah, well that's okay as well. Get rid of that one as well. Uh, so I want a creamer. And we'll put a creamer in, I guess, kind of. Uh, it's going to be the best. I guess, I guess that'll do. Right? It's not a fantastic location, but it'll do. So let's get rid of that. We'll link that into there. And then link that round here. Right, that's the second one done. Cool. 
Now we'll do the same thing over here. So we'll get rid of, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Let's take our creamer and where do I want it? I want it there. And just put the belt up around there. Cool. Right, our last one. Now you may think, yeah, kind of this seems like a, a lot of fuss, but we're going to be making, like I said, uh, an extra ten dollars per pill on four different production lines. It's worth doing. So let's take our final creamer and we'll pop him in. Uh, that'll do. Pig, pop that there. Hook that round there. Cool. We're done. Right. Let's crank that up. In fact, we'll up it to double speed. And there go all of our creamers producing new creams. Now we'll get new product names that we need to uh, access. So, uh, Ac Acne Bane, excellent. And what's this one? This is Flaky Warp Bane. <laughs> Flaky Warp Bane. Oh, gotta love it. So we should see that our revenue will go up even more. So what was our, what was our revenue at? Our revenue was up, see we're up to 270 per year. So that means that if we just left this running now, uh, we're up to 329. So we would complete this in like two and a half years. We've got four years left. So we're going to do it within the time anyway. And uh, you know what? We can do it even faster by setting up even more production lines. And you can see we're, we're no longer producing these, we're producing these guys. So this is going to go up even more. Oh, this is up to B. But we're, uh, we've increased our value and that's what it's all about. Look, we're continuing to go up. We're up to 290 now and that's going to carry on going up. So now we're, we're like, we're already at 360. So yeah, two years and we'd be done. So we'd complete the whole thing in three years, which is, um, that's pretty darn good. But you know what? Not good enough. I'm going to go to Cures and we're going to do one more production line. We're going to upgrade this, uh, this painkiller to ease migraines. Sounds like fun. What do we need? We need a concentration of seven to 10 and run it through an evaporator. Well, that's actually going to be quite cheap because um, this, remember this has got a process cost of 10 compared with um, the agglomerator and the ionizer, which are 35. So this might actually be good for us profits wise. So let's um, let's do it. Seven to 10 and an evaporator. So which uh, is the painkiller? Let's go some ingredients. Which is the painkiller? Oh, that's this raw fortis juice. Excellent. We've got more um, uh, points that we could spend to reduce costs. Ooh, that's kind of good. That would increase our, our profits. Wouldn't affect our revenue, but it would increase our profits. So you know what, we're gonna spend these points. Let's upgrade this. And it's it's one for the first upgrade, and then two points for the second upgrade, and then four for the third upgrade. Um, what we'll do, let's upgrade that one, that one, and that one once. So we've got a 10% discount on each. And then we've got four points left, so um, I think we'll upgrade the farming wood snake juice and this one. Right, so we've just reduced our cost, so our profits should start to go up a little bit, which is always nice. Who, man, right, farming, uh, no, we're doing the, the raw fortis juice, aren't we? Yes, we are, and we're turning the painkiller into an ease migraine medicine. I'm running this on double speed. I should probably, I'm going to run it down just to normal speed. Let's go and put in a production line. We're at 13. We need to get it down to 10, so that means we're going to run it through an ionizer. And then we need to run it through an evaporator. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. Uh, let's go to production. So, where are we gonna do this? Uh, let's do this over, oh, well we've already got two ports free over here. So let's just do it over here. Let's see if we can. It's gonna be, this is quite a tight space actually. I, I probably would have been better maybe going over here, but this'll do, this'll do just as well. So let's take, what did I say? We wanna run it, run it through an ionizer first. So let's run it through an ionizer like that. Then we want to run it through, what was it? An evaporator? Let's double check. Uh, here we go. Yeah, an evaporator. So production. 
run it through an evaporator. The bomb, take an evaporator yeah, out. Oh, this doesn't kind of link up very well, does it? Um, yeah, I think that's probably... Yeah, no, you know what? Let's spin it round like that. Okay, so let's hook that up. So, lay about there. Well, didn't want to do that. Let's try that again. <laughs> uh, conveyor belt there, and then let's see what that produces. So, come on, guys. Oh, I need to import it. Import the product. Okay, so cool. We've got our uh, our raw Fortis juice coming in. It goes through an ionizer and has the strength reduced to 10, which is great. Then it will go through this, and the painkiller will be converted to ease migraine. Now. We need to reduce the concentration again by two. Ooh. So that means running it through two dissolvers. Uh, okay. So we need to get we need to cram two dissolvers in here somehow. So how about if we put a dissolver? Hmm. We're gonna well, we're gonna lose this um, this this port here, unfortunately. But kind of doesn't matter because we've almost done this mission anyway. So. We'll get rid of this belt, and put a belt there, and then a belt there, and then all we want to do is convert it to a cream and sell it. So we'll take a creamer. Where can we pop a creamer in? Uh, if we pop a creamer in there, take a belt, put the belt up around here, and then bring this out to the output port. There we go. Right, so let's just check that this is... Yep, that's activating the Eases migraine. Then it goes through the creamer. We turn it into a wonderful pill. Or one, well, a wonderful cream. And then we need to give it a name. Oh, Sky Headache Stomper. Excellent stuff. Let's take that. Right, now let's go and have a look at our company tab. See what it's selling for. And this thing... Uh, look at this. 279. Right, but you'll notice that... You know, these things, even though we've got these um, these horrible side effects, they're still selling for a lot of money, and that's what we want. Right, let's crank this up to double speed. Look, we're making really good profits as well. We're up to 445. Awesome source. And you know what? We can increase that even more, because if we go to research, our scientists have been sitting here doing nothing. Right? And they're actually costing us quite a lot of money, but they're also getting us research points. So we could go down here, uh, or yeah, we could go down here and we could convert. Okay, for example, now our creamer, we could upgrade our creamer to reduce side effects even more. Now that means that they would be more attractive and they'd probably sell for more. So let's upgrade. Uh, and it's one for the first one, two for the second one, four for the third one, and then eight. Hmm. Is that worth doing? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we should get our profits up. So you know what? What are we using a lot of? Well, we're definitely using some ionizers. Let's upgrade those a couple of times. And the dissolvers. A couple of those. Uh, we're using a couple of evaporators. Let's have a couple of those. And upgrade our agglomerators a couple of times. Right, we've still got 17 to spend. So you know what? Let's uh, upgrade our uh, our creamer and we've got nine left to spend so how about agglomerator and the ionizer right now we're making look at this we were making what 450 we're now making over 500 just by these upgrades so keep your scientists get your research points and spend them wisely you'll get your profits up Okay, let's, um, let's take a look at the company tab and see how we're doing. How's our revenue doing now? Our revenue is up to 367, 368, 370. It's continuing to climb. And how are the values of our drugs doing? They look like they're doing pretty good. And look, our, our drugs are, because we've, we're decreasing the effects of the uh, of the side effects our drugs are getting better ratings and therefore the price is going up look this one's up to 321 where our revenue is now up to 360 a year wow so look we're already up to 644 so that means we're, we're going to complete this in less than 12 months now 
and uh, we've got three years left so we're going to do this we're going to do this in three years which is staggering I told you this was a simple game didn't I do you remember right at the beginning of episode one I said this is a simple game you know it's all about just adjusting the concentrations and then run them through machines it's, it's so simple so simple it does get more complicated when we start to get into uh, mixing to get up to level three drugs which we'll, we'll do in the next episode when we when we uh, when we do the the next challenge uh, you'll see that it does get a little bit more complicated because you 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 have to uh, mix uh, effects together and potentially move effects around as well um, in a machine called the shaker but I will get to all of that. I'll get to all of that. And it's not that complicated. Come on. It really isn't. Look at this. We're up to 388, 389. We're going to be up around 400,000. We're going to do this in, in record time. Yeah, we've got less than 12 months to go, guys. You know what? I think we'll just, um, we'll just speed this on until, we, uh, until we've hit our target. Okay, so we're just waiting for uh, for the last bit of profit to come. We're up to 988, and look at our revenue. Our revenue's up to 435, and we could, if we wanted to, have added uh, another one or two drugs to uh, to make this go even faster. And there we go. We've achieved our objective. Master rating. That's what we wanted. Okay, that's it, guys. That's the first mission completed. Uh, come back for the next one, and we'll do another mission, and we'll learn all about mixing and shaking.